Hello, this is Dan Fashionbauer, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the upgraded feature of A Power Mirror to mirror your PC desktop with your iPhone. So, I just updated my A Power Mirror app on my desktop, and things have changed quite a bit since the last time I used it. So, I'm going to show you how to do it now after the update. So, I'll open up the A Power Mirror application on my PC. Now you get to choose a method of how you want to connect, whether you want to connect wirelessly or with a USB. I'm going to select wireless connection. Now I'll go on my iPhone and I'll click in the upper right hand corner and drag down and then select the screen mirroring option. It looks like two rectangles overlapping each other and then click on Aircast. Then I need to log in to my Aircast account. Click on log in. Put in your email and password that you use to create your A Power Mirror account and click on login. Now you should only have to do this once and it'll save your information. So then it gives you your account status. In my case, I have the free version and I have the trial. It provides you with your user ID, which I'm not really sure what you use that for. And if you click on my account, it'll actually take you to the PowerSoft website and show you more details about your account. But at this point, I can just click on the X here, then click on local cast, and then on your phone, click on the A PowerSoft desktop app line. So this is what you want to click on on your iPhone. Then your iPhone is connected to your desktop application. And if you notice down here, by default, you get 10 minutes of free trial time. So you get 10 minutes every time that you use this app. So whatever you need to do, you need to complete it within 10 minutes or you need to start the app again to get another 10 minutes. So now on my phone, if I click on it, now here are the two rectangle overlaying icons that I talked about initially. But at this point here, I can just scroll up to get rid of that. And now I can move around on my phone and bring up any application I want to record it. All right, I hope you found this video useful and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.